So what's up everybody, my name is Armstrong Isas and today, today is the day where I be your superhero. Today is the day where I show you how to be a genius with backgrounds. So, this is the day where you finally become an Albert Einstein with backgrounds. I'm here to liberate you. So, if it's your first time I've come to this channel, don't forget to smash the subscribe button and by the end of this video, if you take commissions and you smudge paint i'm going to show you how to sell your smudge paintings better to your clients so they keep coming again and again and again i actually sell a lot on instagram so i'm about to show you how i get this at the end of the video so make sure to stay to the end of the video that is where i show you how i do my magic so without further ado just watch this little intro i'm gonna meet you right back okay so basically this is an old picture i wanted to start with this this is an old picture i did that was two years back that was two years back and i think for a picture i did for two years back this was nice now this is how it looks when you don't smudge paint the beard when you don't oil paint the beard sorry this is just i just did with uh, my normal brush so i don't think this was bad this is victor eddy I, this is not the real fire but however it's not bad after all now this is what i want to point out first of all i want to go to my recent pictures this is what they look like now this has a little more life in it than this now and this has a little more life okay not this background i'm going to turn this off turn this off now this is how it looked before now all this this has more life than this so the basic concept between using this background for your photoshop smudge paintings is because it's the gradient concept generally have a gradient on the back it makes the picture pop up and i think that is what many famous paintings have they have this graded background almost a plain background now i'm going to show you a few tricks that you can use now the first thing i want to do is this this is bright o yeah i like him so much okay i'm going to just go with kid wire now i don't plan many of my tutorials i don't plan what i want to say because i want you to walk through my process i want you to learn everything i do and then it's going to be really awesome now this is a gradient background this is a gradient background and okay i'm just gonna turn him off now this is a gradient background this is actually a vignetti i don't know what's called vignetti i don't know with my logo and stuff so this is a gradient background now when i put this picture on top now one of the principles you need to learn about having a gradient background is make the face blend with the background make the color of the picture blend with the background that way to make it pop up and to look like oh they are together do you understand so you might want to do that you might want to make the face blend with the background now this is a face color i tried I'm going to scroll down here and show you something. Now, this is the hue and saturation. This is how the picture came out, came about. So, when you put a background at the back, a gradient background, you should as well just try to tweak it. Then, this is the hue and saturation. I can probably reduce the saturation. If I take it down like this, you see that it really does not blend as much. Then, if I leave it like this, it is nice. I can just tweak it to get what I really, really want. So, I got that color. And I don't think it's really, really bad at all. Now, this is one way to put background select a graded background that you download off the net one of the biggest websites and i think i should give them a shout out in this video because they have been of immense help is pixel.com i'm going to just type it and leave the link in the description below p e x e x x e l dot com pixels.com i think they do a pretty nice job in giving us background and they just tell you to attribute them and, and i think they're actually very free so you might want to use that and tweak it probably use hue or saturation or use the color balance to balance it up and then now this is another concept this is a picture i did now i chose this background i'm going to show you something this is the normal picture the normal background picture right now i chose this what i did was to basically use this I chose the picture uh, the color from the face and added a little saturation hence i got this now I applied a little gradient color here that's on this layer 14 I'm turn it on and you see that the color is in this place so what I just basically did was take a color from the leap here and then probably reduce it a little bit and that's how I got this now I wanted it to blend so I put it here and you can also just 
turn it down a little bit and make it the whole thing blend now this looks really really nice you can as well just take out a background i'm going to take out this background from here and put it somewhere here and put it somewhere here now this is what i have this is not bad at all but i think i would go with this because this makes the picture look calm now the background makes you it makes you pick out what you actually want on any picture if you want the picture to be calm if you want it to have this wicked look whatever look you want it to have it's going to be really really nice so this doesn't look bad at all now this is the another background i used i've used this for some other pictures like this picture but i really don't think it went for this so i'm, I'm having to turn it off and this too this looks too sharp and another thing is if you have a background you can as well just go to filter and go to blur and go to gaussian blur and blow it out so that it would it will blend what you're doing now with this this looks a lot more presentable but i think the saturation is way too much you can as well add the hue or saturation or what have you to have something really really nice but i don't buy that i really, really don't buy this background so i'm going with that former one now it's very very okay to flop in backgrounds I'll, sh I'll tell you what now this is a picture i did that was two or three years back this is Faust the bad guy one of my best musicians like in nigeria i'm in nigeria by the way and by before i continue if you've not subscribed to this channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're watching this video on your hard drive probably offline don't forget to go back i've been getting a lot of messages about how awesome what i've been doing is and it means a lot to me when i started initially it was really not easy and it still isn't easy but your inspirations keep me going and it keeps me releasing more and more awesome videos about what i do and i just want us to make i think the sky is big for everybody to fly so that's why i really really do that so going back to this place i think this is nice you can also just try new things don't forget to of course of course it's okay to make mistakes the first time it's okay to flop but you should just dust your bomb and always go for that because that's what life is all about so i'm going to start with this victor it is picture now this picture is very 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 nice and the background is nice it was nice then but now i feel like i can do a whole lot better so this is what i want to do i want to go to my pack of i'm sure i'm sure wallpaper if you can see it here so i'm going to go to my pack of pictures and select something that i know is going to blend with it so remember the principle i told you the picture should have something the background should have something that is in the picture so i'm going to pick a background which should i use which should i use which should i use okay i'm going to use this because it has many yellows so i'm going to open with photoshop cc 17 so it's going to come up here so it's going to come up here and when it comes up here it's this is how it is so i'm just going to copy it i'm going to drag it convert to normal layer and i'm going to paste it right at the behind this picture so i'm going to paste it right behind here where well, i already cut out this picture from the background that this is in layer two i'm just going to name it main layer or cut out layer sorry cut out layer then i'm going to put this picture right behind this oh this doesn't look bad at all so i'm going to see the difference this and this it has popped up totally so i'm going to probably scale this i'm good i don't like this grass i'm seeing behind so i can probably scale this a little bit uh, with holding alternate you can scale it and leave something like this and i'll press okay without doing anything which just touching the background this has gone boom it has changed the complexion is that the complexion i don't know what jim beglin in fifa calls it but it has changed everything and i think this is really 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 beautiful so before now before now so this this is really beautiful i think i think this is just one little way to top up your game i struggled with backgrounds for a long time i didn't know whether i should put plain backgrounds i didn't know whether i should put gradient backgrounds i didn't know the type of backgrounds i should put so this is one way to top up your game and make whatever you're doing look really really awesome and look spectacular without doing anything just top up the background this picture is really 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 work for something i would do now but looking at it from a distance this doesn't look bad it looks sweet because i used this background so and you can as well just work on the background don't forget to be flexible that's what creativity is all about i can reduce the brightness and it has blended even more see it has blended even more with the picture and you know the bright the darker the background is 
the more the picture pops out from the background and it makes the picture it makes our eyes go on the picture generally it gives us this flair for the background so that's what i want to do i'm going to close this so i have a large working space and this is for files this is nice oh come on see the kind of look i had before i don't know ami what's that what's that really really funny so this is what i have now i'm going to take off the background like this and pick up one remember the principle besides besides this is i'm strong wallpaper if you made it to this part of the video to this length of the video it means you are really interested in what we want to do so i want to tell you this this is a wallpaper i got from pixel.com so you can as well just search for it or i can sell you this definitely have to sell you this because i actually hand picked all these pictures all these backgrounds i it was not just pixels i went to different websites that actually were free and i got them i've been searching for them and i had to organize them for this tutorial specifically so if you want it don't forget i'm i'm going to be releasing my website soon that's that's a whole lot so but if you don't if you want it don't forget to hit me on instagram at amstrongosas and we are going to i think it's barely seven dollars for everything so this and the mock-up so if you really 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 want to top up your game you can as well just hit me and we could talk from there so i'm going to pick up a background i'm going to pick up this for example and right click and open with photoshop cc17 because this picture has blue it has i don't know what this color is what the hell was i doing okay this blue so i'm going to copy it and take it over to this place and paste it at the background now i'm going to probably widen it up a bit you know and any background you have don't forget to work to play around it you can use just a little portion of the background you can use all the background you can use everything you want to do it's your laptop right you got the photoshop right so if you got all these things don't don't forget to be flexible with it nobody's beating you creativity i took a creativity course once and they said creativity is the presence of a lot of options i didn't is that how i said it i don't know i don't know again so this is the background i think this is pretty much beautiful i can i think i like this have this part of the picture on the head so i think this doesn't look bad i think i'll just go with this something like this and not bad at all not bad at all so what do you think about these backgrounds what do you think about all these things and these are different backgrounds you can use i'm going to show you a few of them so you could know what you're signing up, up for if you want to probably hit me on instagram to get the background but if you feel like oh seven bucks is a lot of cash seven dollars is a lot of cash then it's fine you can just go on uh, uh, there are a few websites that you can get you can check google but please make sure these websites are reality have reality free images so you don't get to steal people's stuff don't steal people's stuff and say i'm so say we should do that please i'm not going to be held responsible so um this is these are the things i have and this is pretty much very 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 beautiful i think it's beautiful so i'm going to show you the difference this is before this is now this is this looks too harsh this yellow looks way too harsh it looks like i'm running away from something it looks it looks really really awful then this looks calmer and somehow the picture has blended in with the background now if you have things like this coming out of the yellow background there's there's something you can do you can click on this i want to show you a little trick or something i usually do to blend pictures in with the background i'm going to control click on this control click then i'm going to select inverse select it so i can probably um select the inverse or i can do a shortcut i like shortcuts a lot so i'm going to control shift i to select the inverse so it's going to select things outside here because i want to feather it in then i'm going to press the marquee to yeah, my key to or you can just press m on your keyboard m and then it's going to then you right click then choose feather i'm going to go again select it i'll inverse select it control control shift i to inverse select it or you can go to select and choose inverse control shift i okay so i'm going to go to inverse select here then i'll press m to choose the market tool because that's where the selection is basically see selection then i'm going to go to feather then i'll choose maybe five or thereabouts and just watch what i want to do i'll come to the edges here i'll press backspace to delete the feather by five 
pixels and delete and down by five pixels and this is what we have so i'm going to show you what we had before and what we have now so watch this before now see before now i'm going to go outside so you can see the bigger, bigger picture before now this has blended in with the background so this is one thing you can do to blend in your pictures and make it really look awesome now this is one way to top up your background game and have something beautiful so about the bonus tip i told you about i don't fail all my promises i don't fail my promises besides i want to see you try new backgrounds try new stuff one of the ways you can really sell what you do is to put them in mock-ups make them look awesome it might not really look this beautiful like this but when you put it in a mock-up mock-up are um graphical representation of what you do and i'm going to show you ex an example now this is a mock-up now if you're getting the picture these pictures for seven dollars you're going to get mock-ups too this mock-up is going to be like an addition i think there are almost 10 mock-ups and one is like 200 mb so if you're getting this if you're getting the pictures you're going to be getting mockups too by the way you can download the mockups from freepick.com yeah f r e e p i k i think that's i'm still going to leave the link in the description below just in case you don't have seven bucks you can as well just do what you have to do and but i think this was this looks easier because i i took out my time to select nice ones you might want to always use so i'm going to select this i'm going to press I'm going to choose i'm going to select this and i'm going to choose the picture now this is one of the few things free pick does it gives you um, a picture then you can now click on this um the ps the file ps the means what does it mean if you know if you're a genius photoshop document yeah yeah photoshop document i think i'm a genius too so you can select that and it's supposed to open on photoshop now so so we have it here i'll just choose this picture this is the picture i just just by clicking on it i turned this up and i'm going to show you this just by clicking on this part that i want to add it that's chosen where i'm going to place my design so i'm going to double click on this this is called smart object thumbnail so i'm going to click on it and it's going to open a new window where anything i do is going to go back to this now that's why it's called a mocker because they've done the hard work for you so probably use this picture and i want to make a merge everything to be one so i'm going to press ctrl shift alternate e now it's going to merge everything that is visible so that it's going to be one and i want to take this um totally merged picture and put it on the mock-up now so you see how beautiful it looks when you're done with working for a client or you you did something for somebody a gift or something you might as well just take that take time out to place this so they said place design here now this is too big for it so i'm going to select it with ctrl t to select that's transform then ctrl and um, probably alternate so probably choose how i want it to be maybe something like this this is not bad and i'm going to when i'm when it's downloading i'll press ctrl s to save now when it saves it automatically updates here that that is what i've done here that is why it's called a mock-up and that is why i think you should really really use it because this it makes what you do nice now this is beautiful this looks beautiful it looks like this is real now you have you have a lot of flexibility especially with mock-ups like this that's why these mock-ups are hand was hand-picked by me so that you can get something really nice done so i'm going to press ctrl t for example for the picture and probably increase the um, picture length something like this so it looks big or if you go on my page you notice a few pictures that i was able to work on with mock-ups and i did the different sizes and how the sizes would look so you might just as well just know you can take off one of the jar and this is a jar or you can make the jar smaller that's one of the things mock-up helps you do it still looks awesome because it comes with the shadows and other things like that and you can you can just work on it and this is for the picture you can change the color of the frame probably use something bluish or i don't know anything you think you like just get something really nice something you know that is going to really really sell and it's going to be a lot beautiful so this is for the mock-ups this is for the picture don't forget don't use something like this it does not come out well the 
this is the saturation is way too much don't use something like this it is something like this don't use it it's the picture um the blemish on the picture the issues you have on the picture is very very obvious and this is not good at all don't use okay this is nice don't use something that looks really 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 off from it i don't think that's going to be very nice then for this this is not bad don't use something that has way too much saturation not cool at all then for this this is good use a white background if you use a plain background if you must but please make sure the saturation goes low and please make sure you don't have funny graduations this is funny because this is way too bright this is way too reddish and this is way too white and you notice the saturation lines the graduation lines here and it's not good at all so this is not bad at all so this is really 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 nice and this is a nice video so you could definitely get the hang of how to use backgrounds in photoshop how to make your game go from a b c to i don't know q so if you hung up to the, this video please don't forget to show me what you did don't no 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 don't go back to sleep after watching this or don't scroll past please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to show me what you did at armstrong's ass thank you so much for all the love so far um uh, a series is coming please don't forget to stay tuned this is Amshungusa signing out. Signing out. Bye bye.